so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have worship. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Okay, I want to I wanna welcome the women to the prayer line tonight. I will be taking the prayer line for the women tonight uh, because the Lord is about to equip somebody and the Lord will equip you in the name of Jesus. Hmm. The, the, the topic tonight is the Lord will empower you. And I'm praying for somebody tonight as you hear this word. There is going to be a supernatural anointing upon your life in the name of Jesus. Something miraculous will happen to you. Something powerful will come into your body. And God will give you the option to function in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now, I want to, I want to quickly show you something in the Bible. It's about a woman called Deborah. And I please will ask somebody to be very kind enough to please read for me. Judges chapter number four. I want to show you something there, something to encourage a woman, something to strengthen a woman, and something to, to, to make you know that God is about to do something in your life tonight in the name of Jesus. Can you please take me to Judges chapter number four? And I want somebody to read for me verse number eight. Judges chapter number four, verse number eight. Let's take it from verse eight first. And from these scriptures, I will be bringing out some prayer points for you that we are going to be praying. So please uh, be prepared, be ready. As you study the word with me, God Almighty will give us the revelation and the blessings in the name of Jesus. Can somebody read for me Judges 4 verse number 8? Judges chapter number 4 verse number 8. Do we have anybody, any reader in the house? Judges chapter number 4, verse number 8. Bible says in Judges 4, verse number 8, Judges 4, verse 8, as our, as our mama has read, Barak said to her, If you go with me, I will go. But if you don't go with me, I will not go. That is Barak, who happened to be a soldier, telling Deborah, a woman, that if you don't go with me to this battlefront, I am not going. But if you go with me, I will go. Meaning there's going to be a woman on this prayer line that God will give power to. When God empower you, even men, they will see that anointing. They will see that grace in your life in the name of Jesus. There, I'm telling you, there are some there are some people, when they see some woman, you might think that she's, not, she's an ordinary woman. No, but when she's carrying grace, when she's carrying anointing, you will know, they will see that, oh, that woman is blessed. There are many ministers of God, they have not yet realized that even though they claim that God called, it is them that God called, but their wife, it is the, she is the one that sees what happens more in the ministry. She is the one that sees more what happens more in the church. She's the one that sees what happened more in the family. So I am praying for a woman listening to me tonight that God will give you an unusual anointing in the name of Jesus. Hmm. The Lord will, will give you power. The Lord will empower you. The Lord will give you strength. And you will have the option to function in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, this man said to this woman, if you're not going, go, go, go with me. Then in verse 9, she said, very well. Deborah said, I will go with you. Hmm. I will go with you. And then she said something there. But because of the way you are going about this, the honor will not be yours, but the Lord will hand Sisera over to who? A woman. <laughs> somebody did not get that. Oh, I, how I wish somebody has the Bible with them to read what I'm reading. Because as I'm reading these words from the Bible, I can feel something happening to me. I can feel that somebody on this prayer line will receive something different. The woman says something there. If you look at what she said here, she said, Deborah said, I will go with you. But because of the way you are going about this, the honor will not be yours. But the Lord will hand Sisera over to a woman. Hmm. Not to a man, but to a woman. 
She is speaking with authority. She is speaking with power. She is telling a man that, listen, it is not you that you will take the glory. It is God that will take the glory, but God will give Sisera to a woman. That means it is a woman that the whole world will know that destroyed Sisera. Oh, God. Listen, uh, in, in the news today in England, they, they said that a woman is one of the people that went, that flew a jet to go to, 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 go to where the, the, those ISIS are. So women are now flying the airplane. Women are now in front of the battle line. That is why you women have come together tonight to be in the battle front for your family. That is why you women have come tonight to receive that unusual anointing because most men think that they are the ones that carry all the anointing, but they have forgotten that there are some women also mentioned in the Bible that God gave them the oxen to function. I am praying for you tonight that God will give you the oxen to function in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you the confidence you need. The boldness you need, God will give to you. The, the, the power that you need, God will give to you in the name of Jesus. And when God gives you that power, you will stand to say, oh yes, God has given me that power. Tonight I have come to decree, declare into your life that God will give you that power in the name of Jesus. She said, God will give Sisera to the hand of a woman. And then Bible says, so Deborah went with Barak to Kedesh. Hmm. She went with him. She has already made a pronouncement. And by the time you read, you see where we are going in this story. You will see what happened in that pronouncement. She gave that word, something stained. And then look at, if you look at verse number 14, verse number 14 of Judges chapter number 4. Verse number, how will somebody have their Bible for them to see what I'm saying? Because we need to go back and read this story. We need to go back and kneel down and say, Lord, I need that anointing. In verse number 14 of Judges chapter number 4, Bible says, Then Deborah said to Barak, Go, this is the day the Lord has given Sisera into your hands. Has not the Lord gone ahead of you? See, a woman is telling a soldier, that listen, go, this is the day the Lord has given Sisera into your hand. She is saying it with authority. She is saying it with belief. The Lord will give you the grace to decree a thing and it shall be established in the name of Jesus. I cannot hear anybody saying amen. I said the Lord will give you the grace to speak a thing and it shall be established in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm telling somebody. This woman was speaking with power. She was, she is, it's like she's seeing what she's saying. She, she, she knows the God she serves. Because you have come to this prayer line tonight, you know the God you serve. There will be a change into your situation tonight in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you. So Bible says Barak went down. The Barak obeyed him. Some, a, a soldier, if you look at verse number 14, Bible says he had 10,000 men with him. And with 10,000 men, this man was still afraid. But it was a woman that told him to go that God is with him. 10,000. But it was a woman that was encouraging him. You will be a woman of encouragement to your family in the name of Jesus. I am telling you, you will be a woman of encouragement to your household in the name of Jesus. You, you are not what you are. You are more than what you think you are. God will give you the voice. God will give you the word, the anointing that when you encourage somebody, it shall be as you have said it in the name of Jesus. 10,000 men followed Barak. And Bible says that Barak advanced. He went forward. And the Lord was going with him. The Lord was going with him. Now, if you look at verse number 17, something happened in this story that I'm telling you. Something happened. Let us look at verse number 15 first. Something happened. Judges 4 verse 15. At Barak's advance, the Lord routed Sisera and all his chariots and army by the sword. And Sisera abandoned his chariots. He abandoned his chariot and went. He fled on feet or on foot. The, 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 the Sisera, when he saw Barak, the Lord was there fact, he, 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 he ran away. He ran away, but Barak pursued the chariot and army as far as Eroset, Hagoim. See, but the man left. Sisera ran away. 
Bible says in verse 17, he said, however, fled on foot to the tent of Jahel. See, he, he fled from the battlefield. He now entered another woman's tent. Meanwhile, Deborah has already made a pronouncement that the Lord will give Sisera to a woman. <laughs> I don't know if somebody understand this story. This is a very, very important story. Deborah has already prophesied, she already decreed that the Lord will give Sisera to a woman. In the hand of you, that is, if you look at Judges 4, verse 14, she has made that pronouncement there. You know, and then in, when Barak now went forward to the battle, Sisera now ran away from the battlefield. But where did she run to? She now ran into another woman's tent. Hey, <laughs> God Almighty will give us understanding tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you understanding tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Did that God want to empower tonight? There's somebody that God wants to give authority to tonight. Amen. And God will give it to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. This man, Sisera, was a wicked man. There is a wicked person in your family. There is a wicked person in your community. But the Bible says in Judges 4 from verse number 14, if you are just coming in, write it down, Judges 4 verse 14, Deborah said to Barak, God will give Sisera from the hands of a woman. It is not you, Barak, that will win this battle. It is a woman that God will use from the woman to destroy this man. So at the first prayer point which we are going to pray later on is that you have the gift that Deborah have more than that one in the name of Jesus. Because if you look at the story, I'm, I'm so, so happy that this story is for the women. It's about a woman. Deborah said to Barak, God will use a woman. The you that you have 10,000 chariots, you are not going to be the one to win this battle. It is an ordinary woman. That is just in a house that God will use to kill this man. People, you as ordinary as you are, if you're a woman listening to me, as ordinary as, as ordinarily as you are, God will use you to destroy your enemies in the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm telling you, I feel so passionate on this story. I feel that God gave me the lead to pray for somebody tonight because people have underrated women. People have looked down at women. People have looked down on women. People think women cannot be anything without a man. But if you go, if you go to Judges 4 verse 14, Barak was begging Deborah that if you don't go with me to this battle line, I am not going. Go and read it. So, he, he knows that the bride was carrying anointing. There's somebody on this prayer line. The anointing of God will come upon your life tonight in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, Moses said to God, Moses said to God, if your presence does not go with me, I will not go. And here in Judges chapter 4 verse 14, Barak, a man that has 10,000 soldiers, was telling Deborah, a particular single woman, that if you don't go with me to this battle line, I am not going to go. I, I, I am begging you, if you are listening to me, please write it down and go back. In fact, I want you to go back and read that scripture. I want you to go to God and say, God, please give me the anointing. Because this man told this, this, man told this woman, if you don't go with me, there are some men of honor. There are some men of position. They don't carry their wife along. They don't carry their woman along. They make decisions themselves. But this man that had 10,000 chariots, he said to Deborah, if, and Deborah is not going to fight the war. Deborah was just an ordinary prophetess, a woman of honor, a respected woman in the society. But she issued a decree. She says something. Oh, beloved, somebody please read for me. I need to hear a woman's voice to read for me. Somebody read Judges chapter number 4 for me. Read verse number 1, verse number 8 for me. Judges 4 verse. I don't want to hear my wife's voice. I want to hear somebody's voice on this prayer line. Read for me. Judges chapter number 4, verse number 8. Thank you, ma. Give me, go to verse number nine for me, ma. Judges 4, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma. God bless you. Thank you. 
Thank you, man. Deborah said, listen, you are not going to take the credit. It is not you that it will be all, all over the paper, all over the news. Mm. It is God is going to give this wicked man to the hand of a woman. Mm. I am telling you, see, there's a woman listening to me. You are not what you think you are. You are more than what you think you are in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. I, I'm see, I am telling somebody, you are more than it. If you, if, you, if, you, if you look at if you look at verse number what? Verse number 15. The Bible, in fact, verse number 15, the Bible says that Sisera ran away. And Barak had how many? 10,000 soldiers with him. But a woman already made the declaration. See, you are going to be a woman of power in the name of Jesus. See, my, let, let, me, let me tell you something, beloved. What you need on this prayer line is the anointing. What you need is not a job. What you need is not a husband, it's not a wife, it's not children. It's not, what you need is the anointing. It is the anointing that will give you a good husband. It is the anointing that will give you a good home. It is the anointing that will give you your papers. It is the anointing that will give you prosperity. See, once, once God gives you the anointing, and when you speak a thing, it shall be established. My dear, your story will change. Go and ask anybody. I'm telling you the honest truth. When God gives you the voice, people will come near you. Hmm. Well, let me tell you, my dear, nobody wants to associate with a poor man. Go and, write, go and check it out. Nobody wants to associate with a poor man. But everybody wants to know a successful man. When God makes you to be a successful woman, your story will change in the name of Jesus. When you speak a thing, it shall be established in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Something is happening. Something is happening. The Lord Almighty will give you grace, give you power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hmm. The Lord will give you, your story will change in the name of Jesus. Amen. Stand by. Stand by. The Lord will give you power. The Lord will give you grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. See, let me continue quickly so that you can see what is happening here. See, after Deborah told Barak to go, that God will give Cecilia to the hands of a woman, I'm sure Barak must have thought she's joking. Because the Bible says in verse number what? In verse number 14, please look at your Bible, Judges 4 verse 14. Then Deborah said to Barak, go, this is the day the Lord has given Cecilia in your hands. Has not God gone ahead of you? So Barak went down. Followed by 10,000 men, 10,000 soldiers. Barak brought the 10,000 soldiers at what he needed to fight the battle. Mm. But the woman have spoken. Oh my God, when you speak, it shall be so in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I say when you speak, it shall be so in the name of Jesus. Yeah. But I thought that, oh, those Lieutenant Colonel, those mm. Army General, those uh, Brigadier, they are the ones that will go, no, no, no. But a woman have spoken. I pray for you tonight. When you speak, they shall listen in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Let us quickly go to somewhere. I, I, I don't think I can finish this teaching tonight because there's something more than this teaching. There's an anointing that is inside this teaching. There's a power that is inside this teaching. Oh, you shall receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. In verse number 17 of Judges 4, hmm, Bible says that Sisera, however, fled on foot to the tent of Jared. He fled, he fled from a battle and he entered another woman's house. Hmm. Look at where the prophecy is coming to come to pass now. Because the Buddha already said in verse number 14 of Judges 4 that God will give Sisera from the hand of a woman. Now, Sisera ran from the battlefield. He now entered the woman's tent. And then he said to the woman in verse number 18 of Judges 4, Jarel went out and met Sisera and said to him, Come, my lord, come right in. Don't be afraid. So he entered a tent and she put a covering over him and he said to her, I'm thirsty. Please give me some water. She opened a skin of milk. He asked for water, but she gave him milk. Look at that story. Hmm, look at her. And then she covered him up. Stand in at the doorway and said, He told her, If anyone comes here and asks, Is there anyone here? Say no. But Jahel, Habba's wife, picked up a tent peg and a hammer. A tent peg means a nail and a hammer. And went quietly into him while he lay asleep, exhausted. She drove the, knife, the nail through his brain and he died. Hmm. 
See, the prophecy that has been said from Deborah, it has come to pass now. Because God has given this wicked man to the hands of a woman. I say your enemy, God will use you to destroy your enemy in the name of Jesus. With your mouth, you don't need any nail. You don't need any hammer. Your hammer is, you know, you know some women, they have mouth. Hello? Some women, once they begin to insult somebody, blah, 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 they, hey, and some women, they have gossip. And why some women can gossip, some women can pray. And why some women can pray, some women can decree. I say God will give you that kind of anointing to Amen. pray and decree in the name of Jesus. I, I am praying for you. See, when God gives you power, even you, you will know that you don't need to talk too much. Somebody like me, I know if I say something, it happens. So I don't normally always say too much. Because once I say something, it comes to pass. So I'm very, very careful so that I don't say things in the wrong way so that the person does not get, get the bad, 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 bad one. So I always, I'm always careful what I say. Tonight, God will give you the anointing, the auction to function in the name of Jesus. Let me just quickly look, look at what happened. I want to show you, there's, there's an enemy I want to show you in this story. There's somebody I want to show you. See, after this woman has killed this man, please can somebody, can somebody take me quickly to Judges chapter number 5 and read for me verse number 24. Hmm. Judges chapter number 5 verse 24. Somebody read for me. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. He says something there. Okay, please, can, can that woman take, take, take care of the children so that we can, I can hear my people, somebody speak it to. Thank you, ma. You see that? God will make you to be a blessed woman in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, if you look at that verse, in verse number 25, the Bible says, He asks for water. But she gave him milk. She asked for water. See, you need to have wisdom. Because when once you see the enemy, you need to have that, this, that spirit of discernment. Many of us, when, when see, let me, let me tell you something. If somebody tell me now, maybe in Africa, and say, Evangelist, hey, I need some money, please. I want to, you want to use, want to do, you want to do some barrier or some wedding or all. See, if they ask me for 100 pounds, Trust me, I only give them 50 pounds. Or if they ask me for 100 pounds, I will always go and tight that 100 pounds. That's what I do. I am telling you a secret today. The enemy use our money to destroy our life. The enemy will use what you give them to destroy you. Some of them will not be content with what you give. If you, if you give Mr. A 10 pounds and you give Mr. B 20 pounds and once they find out, they will say, ah, ah, how can she give Mr. B 20 pounds and me 10 pounds? There will be war. But when you, when you go and tight it, you have secured the destiny of that money. This man asks for water. Ah, she asks for water and he asked for water, she gave him milk. There is difference between milk and water, is it not? I don't know if somebody can hear me. If you can hear me, just say amen. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, for the sake of the, of the noise, of the baby's noise, I'm going to have to mute the game so that um, I, I cannot hear you, but I, I believe you can hear me. Because there's a noise somewhere in the background there. And I want you to hear me clearly. Even though I always like people to reciprocate to my teaching. But let me, let me just continue. This man asked for water. And this woman gave him milk. I want, you to, I want to show you something here. And then Bible says what? In verse 26 of Judges 5. He, he is hand rich for the ten peg. I mean, sorry, a hand rich for the ten peg, a right hand for the workman's hammer. And she struck Sisera. She crushed his head. Ah, you will crush your enemy's head with your prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bible says she shattered and pierced his temple. And her feet is sank. Your enemy will fall before you tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. See, I am decreeing into somebody's life tonight, and it shall be so in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am decreeing and I'm declaring, and it shall be so in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Oh, beloved, I need, I, need, I, need, I need you to hear this. And I need you somebody to hear this, this, this next prayer. There's something that somebody must see here. Let me show you something here, beloved. Somebody, please, please be kind enough to read for me verse number 28 of Judges 5. Hmm. Thank you, mommy. Cicera's mother, his mother, the, the, his backbone, the person that sponsored him, the woman of evil, the mother of witchcraft, she stood at the window and she was crying. We are, why is his chariot coming so late? A mother, can you imagine a mother telling her own son to begin to kill people around? There is a woman like you that is sponsoring evil in your family. Ha! Somebody does not understand what I'm saying. There is a woman like you, a woman that, that a woman that was born a woman like you. She is the one sponsoring evil in your family. Anyone that is sponsoring darkness in your life shall be exposed today Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, the woman stood at the window and she was waiting. She was waiting. Where is he? We are, ah, why is he not bringing their, their, their dead body? Why is he not bringing their money? Every woman that has been sponsoring everything that belongs to you, God will disgrace them tonight in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Ah, see, this woman has forgotten. She, she doesn't know that she is the mother of a dead thing. She was waiting at the window, not knowing that she is the mother of a dead man. She didn't know that she is the mother of something that has died. Ah, beloved, I am praying for you as a son tonight. You will not be a woman of dead things in the name of Jesus. Ah, I'm, well, there are some women, the enemy has finished them that their job is dead. Their marriage is dead. Their finances has been dead, um, but they don't know. Ah, that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm telling somebody, you don't know what I'm saying. There are some people, there are some women, their husband's destiny has been killed. Their children's destiny has been scattered. Their marital destiny has been destroyed. There are some women, they are still waiting for breakthrough, but the enemy have killed their dream. Ah, the enemy will not kill your dream in the name of Jesus. Ah, women, if you are a woman on this prayer line, I beg you, I am begging you, go and look at this story. Go and look at this story. In fact, this woman was the one sponsoring her son. And she was, and a woman like her, Deborah, said that God will give Cicera to the hand of a woman. And then Cicera now entered another woman's house. How many women are in this, are in this story? Who can tell me? How many women are in this story? Thank you. Thank you. The Lord said to Deborah, one. And then Deborah now said to Barak, it's a woman that will destroy you. Meaning, the woman that spoke have a gift of prophecy. She is speaking about a woman. That woman, I don't know who that woman will be. But I am praying it shall be you in Jesus' name. Meaning there are two women, and then there are now happened to be another woman who was spoken about that it's going to be a woman that will destroy Sisera. It now happened to be this woman called Jahel. Meaning three women. The second woman is the one that stands between the first woman and the last woman. Hmm. Oh, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. God will use you to destroy your enemies in the name of Jesus. I'm telling somebody, this woman was the one that God used. There are some people that, and then they are now happen to be another woman, making the evil woman. You will not be part of evil things in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, the three women that are in this, in this story are the ones that are good. But they are now happen to be a wicked woman. The mother of Sisera. Ha. Look, look at me. The, your first enemy is in your family. Ah, today, I'm, I cannot finish this story today because God is showing me some things. Your, the first enemy of your life is inside your family. Who is the woman that is sponsoring darkness in your life? Who is the woman that is sponsoring sorrow in your life? Who is the woman that has a son or a child that is, that is sponsoring, waiting for him to bring everything that you have worked for? Ah, 
The, this Bible said that this woman stood at the window and she was looking at the time. Say, ah, why is it late? Why has it not brought all their destiny, their, their gold, their money, their children? Ah, any woman waiting for your glory shall be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh, beloved, I cannot finish this teaching, but let me just give you some prayer points because I want you to pray. I can feel something is happening. Well, anywhere they have tied your destiny, I say God will lose it tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I, I am praying for you tonight. Anywhere they have tampered with your glory, God Almighty will release your glory tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, pray the first prayer. Any woman like me. See, pray it this way. Any woman that was born by a woman. See, beloved, let me, let me tell you the truth. If you are on this prayer line tonight, next week, Saturday, I want to reteach this prayer. This, this prayer line. I want to revisit this story. And I want to pray for a woman. You know why? Because on the first, second, third, I will be in my three day fasting. And I will finish my fasting when? On, on, I think on Saturday morning. And on Saturday prayer line, I want to go back to this teaching to decree, declare into your life. So note that date down. On the first, second, third, I will be fasting for three days, three nights. I will not eat, I will not drink anything for three days. And on that Saturday morning, I want to go back to this teaching. I want to decree, declare. Well, you will realize that the woman that is standing on your window, the woman that is waiting for your destiny, the woman that is waiting for your blessing, oh, the Lord shall destroy Amen. her in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I am begging you women on this prayer line, everyone that is here tonight or anyone that is listening to me on Saturday next, I am going into declaration. I am going to decree, declare the person that has been sponsoring darkness in your life. This person that has been standing to disgrace you. This person that has been waiting for you to be destroyed. The Lord will destroy her in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Beloved, pray this prayer. Say, any woman that was born like me as a woman, ah, that is waiting at the window, hmm, waiting for what belongs to me, tell God that the, let that woman's life be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Ah, there's a woman, there's a woman. That woman's life must be disgraced. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray, pray. You have to pray. You are a woman like you. It's destroying your life. Open your mouth and pray. That did destroy her. Expose her. Expose her. Mm. I ask, oh Lord, Jehovah Nisi, expose her. Any woman, any woman, any woman that is waiting for my blessing, for my waiting for my destiny, mm. they shall be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. They shall be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Any woman in my life that is waiting for what belongs to me, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, I ask, oh Lord Jehovah Nisi, that you will destroy them. You will expose them in the name of Jesus. Any woman that is waiting for what belongs to me, any woman that is waiting, anyone, any woman that says that I will not prosper, any woman that says I will not shine, Jehovah Nisi, Baba, I ask, oh Lord, that you expose and disgrace them tonight in the name of Jesus. I decree by the authority that is in the word of God. Any woman, any woman that is waiting for my blessing, any woman that is waiting for my children's destiny, they shall be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. They shall be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. They shall be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. I decree, declare. Every power of darkness that is waiting, that is waiting, that is waiting, that is waiting, that is waiting for my life, for my destiny. They shall be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. I say they shall be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. They shall be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. They shall be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. They shall be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. Hmm. By the power that is in the word of God, every satanic agent, every satanic power that is waiting on my way, they shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Beloved, let me pray for you quickly. Hmm. I feel that there is somebody on this prayer line that God has empowered. Ha! Will any woman like you that is standing on your breakthrough, they shall fall in the name of Jesus. Any woman that is behind contrary wind in your life, they shall be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Any woman like you that is opposing increase in your life, they shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. Hmm. 
every woman of evil that is behind death and sickness in your family, they shall be destroyed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Mm. Every woman like you that has been swallowing your blessing, I say tonight they shall vomit them spiritually in the name of Jesus. Mm. Ah, oh, I am praying for somebody tonight. A woman I am praying for tonight. Any woman like you that has been delaying your progress and your children's progress. I say, God, we expose them tonight in the name of Jesus. Ah. Oh, my God. Any woman like you that has been sending satanic arrow into your children's life, into your house. I say that arrow is going back to the sender tonight in the name of Jesus. Ah. Oh, beloved, I am praying for somebody tonight. Any woman that has been sponsoring sorrow, that has been sponsoring sorrow, that has been sponsoring sorrow in your life, I say, God, we destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus. Ha. I am praying for you. The woman that is standing on your family window, that is waiting for your children's dead body, that is waiting for your for your for your for you to weep, for you to cry. I say she will fall down from that window tonight in the name of Jesus. Ha. Any woman that has been sharing your blessings spiritually, that has been sharing your blessings spiritually, I say tonight, our dead body, animals will begin to share a dead body in the name of Jesus. Ha. Oh, I am praying for a woman that is saying amen. Whatever a woman like you has damaged in your life or in your children's life, God shall repair it tonight in the name of Jesus. Ha. Oh, I am praying for you. The woman that believes that she cannot be caught, the woman that believes that she cannot be exposed, that has been destroying your life, I say tonight, God will expose and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Hmm. I pray for you tonight, by the power that is in the word of God, you will laugh again in the name of Jesus. Ha. I say whatever this woman has taken from you, you are going to regain everything in the name of Jesus. Hmm. I pray for you. Ah, they will not waste you. They will not waste your children. They, everything that you have labored for, they will not take it from you in the name of Jesus. Ah. God will give you the option to function. It shall be well with your body. It shall be well with your soul. It shall be well with your spirit. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Beloved, I, I want to take this to the next level. Next week, Saturday, I said to you, I will be concluding my fasting, I think, right on that morning of that Saturday. I want you to come to this prayer line exactly 9 p.m. UK time. I want you to be there as early as 9 p.m. I want us to be ready because there is a woman. If that woman does not fall between today and Saturday, then that woman must fall between Saturday and the next Saturday. I want you to make sure that you are ready for this battle. You are ready to face your enemy. You are ready to hear that testimony that your enemy has fallen. And the only way they can fall is as when and where and when you are ready. And you need to be ready. That's why I tell you, don't let anybody distract your prayer. You are a woman. You are a woman. People have been underrating you, undermining you. People think that women cannot do anything. People believe that women cannot even rule. Deborah was a ruler. Go and check the story. Go and read verse number, chapter number 4. If you look at verse number 1, Bible says that Deborah was the head. If, sorry, verse number 4 of, of Judges 4. De Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidot, was leading Israel at that time. You will be a leader in the name of Jesus. Ha. Your children will be a leader in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This woman was a leader. There are not much women leaders in the world today. God will give you that grace to lead in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want to pray for you. Any woman that says that you will not lead... Any woman that says that your voice will not be heard. Ah, the there are some people they are preaching wrongly now that women cannot preach, women cannot do that. But a woman in the Bible, God gave the auction to function to. The, the people that have seen that have forgotten this story. They say, ah, that's the Old Testament. It doesn't, it doesn't. No, 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 no. It's not about old or new. It's about the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. It is the same God that gave the Bora the auction to function. It is the same God that gave the Bora the voice to speak. And what the Bora spoke about came to pass. I say the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. He will give you the auction to function in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
please beloved next week saturday i want this i want this, i want this women prayer line to go to the next level i want you women to be a fighter in your home there are many people that are losing their job they are losing their children there are many women that their husband are on the bed sick bed their children are on the sick bed there are many women that they are asking god why and God is telling me to ask them, why are they asking me why? Why can't they go into me in prayer? Why can't they let me give them that anointing? So if you are on this prayer line tonight, you need that anointing. You, you need that voice, that word that will come to pass in your life. I say God will begin to give it to you in the name of Jesus. Please, beloved, next week Saturday, let us come early and God will bless you as you come in the name of Jesus. The same time, the same, in fact, if I were you, I would give somebody the prayer line number. That come, come and hear what the man of God is about to say. Come and hear some prayers that will change your life. Come and receive the anointing from God because God will open your door in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.